All right, Aries, you know what? This isn't so bad. I mean, it indicates that there's something that is out of whack in your life right now, but I think that a lot of you are actually working on this to kind of change what is happening. So the monster within, internal struggle, personal challenges, wanting to improve, and then you have balance. Balance is saying that there's a need for you to honestly look at what is going on in your life right now and listen to what your intuition is telling you about areas in your life that may be out of balance. It's about bringing that back, bringing that balance back into your life. And the monster within, it's not that, you know, because it talks about how this is about you changing your so-called flaws and faults into your strengths, right? But I don't think that it's anything that's flawed about you. I think this may be something that you've been struggling with for a while and try to, trying to create that kind of balance with. But I, I feel good about it in that the monster within it indicates to me that a lot of you are putting a lot of attention and effort into that right now. But clearly for some of you, something is not in balance. That could be your health. It could be your career. It could be a relationship. You know how that goes. But this is something that you've been struggling with for a while. All right, Aries. Here is your overall. The fool. <laughs> the fool. The fool. So, because I'm looking back at your oracle, your oracle cards here. My God, if I could talk right. I'm having issues today. Please forgive me. <laughs> Let me slow down. I think that for a lot of you, the way to get balance back is by taking a risk. But I don't feel like it's a bad thing. I think for a lot of you, you need this. You, you need to walk away from the past to walk into a new version of your life, so to speak. For some of you, this could be about an opportunity that you already know about but it's going to require you to take a huge leap of faith into it, right? So I don't see this as a bad thing. I think it's perfect for Aries, first of all, and being your overall. But this is a big change, I think, that a lot of you are wanting to make. And the thing is, is, you know, I look back at that and think, you've been struggling with this for a little bit on whether or not to do this, but now it's like, you're going to be not, I don't want to say forced to face it, but it's like, okay, we're either going to do this or we're not. In the past, the King of Swords. So I look at that and I think for some of you, you know, we'll see how the King of Swords is playing out. But clearly, you know, for some of you, this is going to be about a person from the past that you're still kind of dealing with. You know, I, I love the King of Swords in terms of being able to clearly communicate, which, you know, of course because I struggle with that. <laughs> but this is thinking clearly, right? And it's somebody coming through who is very straight to the point, yes, but is coming from a place of understanding the circumstances surrounding what is going on. You know, emotions aren't clouding the judgment here. Now, for some of you, this could be someone coming through that is giving you some advice that may be helping you as far as making a big transition here with the fool and being able to have a little bit of faith, it's almost like having somebody back you. You know, the, the King of Swords here could be somebody who's advising you. For others of you, it may be a person of interest. For others of you, it's going to be, you know, the way that you were in the past. You know, thinking very logically about the things that you're doing while the fool isn't really like that, right? <laughs> But it, it kind of shows that I think that you you know now exactly what you want to do. You know, whether this is representing you or somebody that's coming through and giving you advice. You know, I don't necessarily feel too bad about him. And he better not prove me wrong, damn it. <laughs> oh, yeah. See? See? And you're the first one. You are the first one to get the Ace of Cups. But this is huge. You may have been talking to someone about this in the past, but we're looking at, you know, somebody coming through here that is trying to clear your mind and help you see what you are actually doing. It's like they're helping you to make a choice. Now, this could definitely be somebody coming through here that is wanting to offer you something with the Ace of Cups. 
and it would require a huge leap of faith, but you're talking about new love, right? Having an opportunity to fill the cup back up, so to speak. You know, but we'll, we'll see how this is playing out with your environment because this is what you're facing right now. But there has been discussion about it though before between you and another person. You know, even if the King of Swords is representing you in this situation, I still feel like there was talk about this before. For some of you, you may be ready to follow through on this, but we're still looking at you needing to take the jump into it, right? Okay. Look at that. So future conditions, the Queen of Cups. So where we, we were detached from emotion, now we're full on emotionally invested and involved. And that may be what is going to help you be able to make that jump into this new beginning with the Ace of Cups. You know, but there there was talk about this and it's like, I think for some of you, you really needed to give yourself some time to think about this from a clear perspective, not being clouded by, you know, emotions or passion, you know, which is why we're looking at the King of Swords coming through. But I do think that this is representing another person. Kings for me are always external. This shows you moving into the future where you are invested in this new opportunity. Your your emotions have been pulled on and and not in a manipulative way. But this is this is big with the full. This is big. And you got air and water going on, but I'm seeing, you know, two people here with this opportunity right in between them. But Aries being required here to take this leap of faith and tap into, you know, that emotional part of you that is invested in this. You know, and for some of you, it may be that this opportunity is going to bring you some much needed emotional healing as well and happiness, which is great. But I'm, I'm not seeing, I'm seeing a transition with you, but I'm not seeing anything yet on how this is playing out later on. It's just, it, it's you that changes with it. It's interesting. Okay, your best path to follow the Six of Swords. And because you have the King of Swords kicking this off, I kind of feel like, you know, it's not like the Eight of Swords where your thoughts are keeping you stuck. It's just that, you know, there are, are certain things that you may have thought about this opportunity before. And I feel like that is what you need to move on from because, you know, the Six of Swords always shows the conflict and transitioning out of that conflict, right? So clearly there's something that you're going to have to move on from, I think, more so mentally than emotionally, because you are moving into the emotional calmer state. You just have to make the transition. And once you do that, then I think it's going to be easier for you to just go head first into this, you know, and this could be representing anything. But more importantly, it's one of those opportunities where it's not about passion. It's not about, you know, realistic results. It's not about needing the truth. It's about filling you up again on an emotional level, you know, so it could be anything coming through here. It could be, you know, an opportunity as far as your career. It could be a new relationship, new love, but it, it's here to make you feel good, make you feel whole emotionally, which, you know, is why we're looking at the Queen of Cups. But I think that this is more, you know, especially with him, more of the mental kind of conflict that has been going on with you in regards to this. Wow. In your environment, you're not in any rush. So the Prince of Pentacles or the Knight of Pentacles, and there is no need to rush, right? Even though the Fool is like, I'm all about it. I'm going right in. I think that it would be easier for you if there was at least some kind of progress made first, you know, before you're like all about it, all in. But we are looking at you, you know, needing to kind of get to this point, you know, and, and I look at this connected to the discussion that's been going on in the past with someone about this. And there hasn't been a whole lot of progress in the present moment. You know, there's just it, it's slow moving. But does it pick up pace, though? But whatever conflict that you have around this, and, and not just this opportunity, but whatever things that you've been struggling with, you're going to have to make a transition away from it. 
because, you know, you may end up in another situation where you deal with the five of swords and then you're the six of swords again, right? Feeling defeated and having to move on again. You don't want to do that. You don't want to carry anything with you if you accept this. You know what I'm saying? And it's not like a ten of wands situation. It's just there are some things that you have to move away from and stop playing things out in your mind especially if things have gone wrong before with opportunities like this you know but i look at this and think we're not in any rush things are moving slowly your hopes and your fears gotcha the two of swords and again right there's a lot of thinking about this i do think that you move into a place where emotionally you're more invested and i think it makes it easier for you to go all the way even with the little bit of progress that there has been made but this this speaks out to me because i think it's the only thing that is holding you back from you know just going all the way through with this now like i said this could be something that's being offered to you by someone or you know this is something that you maybe want to begin and you may be offering it but there you and someone else is involved here you know, and again, whether you're dealing with air, water, male, female, it doesn't matter. But the two of swords being your hopes and fears, there's something that needs to be decided on here. You know, it's like holding two truths, but not wanting to see the actual truth because there is the truth of the situation, but there's also your truth. And something has to be cut out, especially with the six of swords being there. A transition is going to have to be made. If you're going to be able to freely move forward with this new beginning with the Ace of Cups. But the fear there would be that you're making the wrong choice, which is understandable. You know, but what is the right thing to do here? And I think that that may be what some of you are struggling with. But, you know, it looks like your heart wins out in the end. Oh, yeah. The Four of Wands. <laughs> you know, it's funny because... It's such a big thing, but it may be just as simple as you jumping into making a commitment or like even just wanting to move in with someone, right? But the thing is, is this is a good indicator that once you are whole emotionally and you're invested in this, once you take that leap, you're going to see that kind of stability. And you're talking about celebration coming out. Now, if it's about career, you got a good foundation going on here. This is, you know, just the beginning of bigger and better for you. You know, but this may be something that you've been considering for a while. You know, it may not be realistic or practical, but it's more about what makes you happy now. But what's interesting to me is that even if it is just about your own happiness, if you were to jump headfirst into it and move away from the things that are conflicting and make that difficult choice, you're going to reach this place where Things are great. Things are really great. And if this is about a relationship, Aries, yay, good for you. <laughs> so the Five of Cups and then looking at the King of Swords, you know, again, there's been talk about this. And the discussion is centered around the fact that you don't want to be let down or you may not want to let someone else down by accepting this or making this offer with the Ace of Cups. But I, I feel like some of you may be waiting for this to come to you. But the thing is, is you, that's not going to happen, right? You're keeping yourself stuck and trapped. Now, you may not have any indicator of progress that could be made with this. And that may be what's keeping you stuck in the present moment, not really knowing what to do with this Ace of Cups. Because it's there. It's there right now. It's just you needing to make the choice here to get rid of these thoughts, to move on, make the transition, and go head first into what is going to make you happy and emotionally whole, right? And, and healing too, emotional healing from the disappointment of the past. And then you have justice with the four of wands where, again, balance. The scales being balanced out here. And it's a good moment for you. You're going to see a lot more stability than what you are fearing in the present moment. Because I don't think that there's any real indicator that, you know, the situation is going to build in the way that you want it to. 
But it is, though, and that's the thing. It is. Progress is being made, but it's only being slowed down by you. You know, and then I look at justice and think we have to do what's right here. And this has to be a final choice. But this is a choice about what is going to make things balanced for you. I mean, it's so important right now. And you've been struggling with this for a while. But I don't think that you're you're going to just sit back and not put in the effort. I really do think that, you know, going back to the Oracle cards that the monster within is saying that you're you're making, you know, the progress that's necessary here to like free yourself so that you can just boom i'm in it it's interesting and then transformation wow yeah so what is your truth what is your personal truth whatever that is that is what you need to start speaking right now and when you get to that truth right and you're not blocking yourself from it it's going to be easier for you to reconnect with what your soul truly wants and there will be this transformation I like it, Aries. I like it. I think it looks beautiful. <laughs> Honesty is essential. You know, it's funny because I look at this, speak your truth, and I'm looking at the King of Swords, and I'm thinking that, you know, for some of you, maybe it's time now for you to speak up about something. You know, it, 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 and I feel like some of you are ready to do this, but there's still, you know, the choice that has to be made to, you know, jump forward on this. But again, I don't think that with that Eight of Swords, especially, you're seeing a whole lot of progress. It's like, I have nothing showing me that this is actually worth doing. But if you were to stay on this course, how much could you, could you potentially gain? You see what I'm saying? But honesty is essential. To be a loving person, it's important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. And then be authentic to who you are. You are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel. There you go, right? So this may be about you needing to face how you really feel about something or someone. But that Ace of Cups is right there right now. And it may be up to you to speak up and say something now, but you have to do it from a place where you're being real with yourself about what you actually want to see, right? But all of this looks so good, so good coming out, Aries. For a lot of you, you, you know, you could be dealing with somebody coming through here that may be new to your life, that may stir emotions in you that you haven't felt before, right? And like I said, for others of you, this could be about taking that path in your career that's more about happiness rather than material wealth. But yet you still end up there, or at least the foundation is built for it. And it looks really good, Aries. I love it. But if you've been struggling with this, you know, it, it, it is time for that balance now, right? Look at those areas where you feel like things are not balanced. And if there's something that you need to say, it's time to speak it, right? Speak it and be honest with yourself and be true to yourself. 